Welcome back to Strong Man Personal Finance. having a delicious day. Do you want to know why, ladies and gentlemen? Because I don't care about individual stocks. A dollar cost average in the total world stock market index funds in my tax advantage accounts. So hard to build wealth. This market downturn is just wonderful. Anyway, welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a long-term bubblehead investor. I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. Go buy it. I need your attendees. I need that $100 a month. It's good side money. And holy crap, is Tesla getting freaking wrecked? Now, this video is not about celebrating the slow but steady decline of the massively overvalued meme stock hype bubble, Elon Musk Griff stock. No, we're not gonna celebrate yet because Tesla has yet to miss earnings. They have to miss revenue. They have to give some kind of guidance where their revenue is only gonna be 20 or 30% going into the future. And that will be the true destruction of La Tesla. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. No, today we're gonna celebrate an ingenious plan by none other than solving the money problem. What's his name, Stephen Mark Ryan? I say my full name. Hi, girls. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. The, hey, I'm Stephen. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan w Weatherfordshire the third. What a freaking weirdo, man. Anyway, this guy, Stevie, Stevie Blunder, he's got this genius idea that La Tesla Futura, the management, should be, initiate share buybacks. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. La Tesla Futura should start buying back shares. Now, on the surface, this makes no sense. And when you look at it in more detail, it makes no freaking sense whatsoever. Number one, why would La Tesla buy back shares at a point when they're in a massive freaking bubble fueled by hype and Elon Musk's grifty attitude? Robots, buy my stock because there's gonna be robots. Yeah, even though we don't have any factories and we have no expertise in uh, robots. Yeah. So if Tesla's in a massive bubble, some of you disagree. That's fine, you know, stocks only go up. Tesla's worth a trillion dollars, $10 trillion, and all the other car companies, you know, their their combined market cap is less than Tesla's. That makes sense, even though they make a fraction of the cars. I, I get it, it makes, makes perfect sense. Luxury car company, trillion dollars. But if Tesla was in a rational bubble, why would they buy back shares? Why would they buy back expensive shares? No, they're gonna issue shares. The smartest, most intelligent thing for La Tesla's management to do is to keep diluting the current shareholders because they can issue shares out to the public and all you freaking clowns will buy it at any price. And Tesla can just collect so much money. Oh my God. Can you believe, man, when Tesla stock went up to like, what, $1,200? Imagine if they, did, if they did a massive share issuance. They would have cash for days, cash for years, cash for decades. That's right. It makes no sense to buy back your stock when it's in a massive bubble. On the contrary, you should issue shares. Now, Tesla's doing the smart thing, and instead of going into a lot of debt, they're issuing shares. I get why they're doing that. Because why would you go into debt when you can give out shares at irrationally high prices and just flood your company with cash and not have to incur interest expense at some time in the future, especially with rates rise? Tesla's doing a very intelligent thing. But to buy back shares, why? Why would you spend your investor's capital all that money that people have invested, all the free cash flow of the company. Why would you use that money to buy back shares at such an elevated price? It, it, it's ridiculous. Like, apparently Tesla is still in the growth phase. So if Tesla was gonna grow to this massive company, why would they take their cash, which should be utilized to build shareholder value, like, oh, maybe I'll take this cash that's sitting in our bank getting 0.01% interest, and I'll buy a new factory or maybe I'll invest it into our robots, which are totally gonna happen, or something to that effect. Why would they not invest the money into something intelligent like that? No, of course not. They're gonna buy back their freaking shares. Now think about it for a second. Think about it from your perspective as a person. You see a stock and you look, hopefully you do some fundamental analysis and you calculate what rate of return you could potentially get by buying that stock at its current valuation. 
if you do some reasonable analysis of Tesla, I call it the common sense factor. It's a luxury car company and it's it's full fully matured value. It's fully matured revenue potential is a lot less than you clowns think it is. Why would you buy Tesla? Because right now, you know, depending on your calculations and my calculations, Tesla's going to give anybody that buys the stock a massive negative return. You're going to have you could have a massive negative return for a decade or two. Look back to the dot com bubble. People were buying Cisco my Disco and uh, Intel my Pentel, and they were getting freaking wrecked. They got wrecked. I've had people I do taxes. They bought Intel 20 years ago, and they just now broke even barely. It's freaking crazy. The same people now are the ones buying Tesla. So if you do any kind of fundamental analysis and you see that you're gonna get a negative return, why would you buy the stock? The only time it makes sense to buy the stock is if you look at the price, of, let's say you're the management, you look at the current price of your stock and you're like, hmm, I have all this cash. I could either expand my business, you know, I could invest it and get this rate of return, or I could buy back shares and get this rate of return. Now, if your stock is massively undervalued, and you got a lot of cash sitting on the books, absolutely, you should buy back the shares. You bet it's it's anti well, it's not it's not anti dilutive, but it, it's a great thing to reduce the number of shares outstanding for your shareholders because the company's earnings are divided among fewer people. It's a great way to spend cash if you're massively overvalued, but it doesn't make sense or undervalued. It doesn't make sense for a growing company to start buying back shares of their stock. And I can guarantee, if they start doing that, I would be shocked. I would be, I would, I would, it would blow my mind. Instead, they should continue to issue shares because now Tesla is starting to get freaking wrecked by this market. We got rising interest rates, fears of recession. People are starting to realize it's a luxury car company. It's common freaking sense. Whoa, Tesla's a, a car for every man. I saw a Tesla in uh, the parking lot of my gym that I go to. Some clown was trying to charge $62,000 for a Model 3. I was like, what are you doing, you idiot? And I'm sure some clown freaking bought it from him. Hope he reports that capital game. But holy freaking crap. Tesla is finally getting trimmed down. And maybe this will continue. Maybe Tesla will just keep going down and down and down. Maybe there won't be a dramatic crash, but maybe people in the market are starting to finally realize that Tesla is always the bubble that it's been. So at this point, this is Tesla's last chance to issue shares at irrationally high prices. Now, if Tesla matures and their growth prospects are crap, which at some point they will hit that point, I don't know exactly where it is, but it isn't where you clowns think it's gonna be. At some point, it will make sense for Tesla's management to buy back shares or potentially pay a dividend. But right now, it is freaking idiotic for Tesla's management to buy back shares. If you got a lot of cash on your books, ladies and gentlemen, find a way to freaking invest it, okay? Uh, even if you, have, if you have nothing to buy, wait. You can keep put the cash in short-term treasuries, you know, marketable securities, and then you just freaking wait for an opportunity. Why do you have to rush and take that cash and spend it on something like a massively overvalued stock that you're going to buy back and put in your treasury? That's stupid. Why would you do that? It's better to wait and, instead of losing freaking money. So no, I don't think Tesla should buy back their shares. I think solving the bussy problem is a freaking moron. But that's my opinion. So, <laughs> We'll see what happens. I mean, they're probably going to split the stock because I can totally see Elon doing this. He's such a, I don't like Elon. I mean, I, I support him on some things, but holy crap, he's, he's such a grifter when it comes to Tesla. You know, at some point, they're going to be like, well, our stock's going down. It's been down, it's down 35%. So we know our fans are morons and they'll buy the stock at any price. So let's do a share split. Let's split the shares. And that means our customers will 10X if we do a 10 for one. <laughs> so I can see him totally doing a freaking stock split in the near term. Just so they can do one last grift. So the stock price runs up because you clowns will, oh, if I buy the stock, I'm going to 10X. And clowns go and freaking buy it and they can get more cash and issue more shares after that. <laughs> but no, it's it's stupid for their management to, to buy back shares at this point. We'll see what they do. I'm going to laugh, but <laughs> we don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's it. I gotta go back to work. Cheers!